Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. For today's video, as you guys can tell by the title, we have a yet another hairstyle video. If you guys haven't seen my previous video where I showed you guys 10 different heatless hairstyles for back to school, I'll leave it in the eye as well as the description so make sure you guys check it out after this video. So because you guys love that hairstyle video, I thought why not do another one and today I'm showing you guys how to create another 10 heatless hairstyles because I feel like there's never enough hairstyles, right? I don't know about you guys, but I personally love to try different hairstyles hairstyles, different looks. It just makes me feel like a different and fresh person every day. All these different hairstyles can be recreated on different hair types and different hair lengths. So if you guys do manage to recreate any of them, make sure you guys tag me on Instagram because I'd love to see your recreations. Also, I noticed that in my previous hair video, you guys have been commenting a lot about how quickly my hair has grown out. And looking back at some of my older hair videos from about a year or two ago, I have definitely noticed the same. For any new viewers that haven't been on my channel for that long, here is a little video of what my hair hair used to look like about two years ago and as you guys can see about half of it was blonde so in about two years I have managed to grow out this amount of hair and I feel like that's pretty significant so I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret as to what products I've been using it to help my hair grow and you guys have probably seen these products on my channel already or even on my Instagram and it's quite a popular brand and the brand is Hairburst. Now Hairburst is one of those brands that I really stand by because not only are they vegan and cruelty free but also all of their ingredients are actually natural. So here I have the conditioner and the shampoo. These are both avocado and coconut scented. They smell amazing. Also these are actually suitable for all hair types. So whether you have oily hair or you have dry hair, these are going to work for you regardless. I have slightly combination hair. My hair gets quite oily at the top but I have very dry ends. So this is just a perfect product for me. I feel like the reason as to why my hair has grown so quickly is because the shampoo and conditioner actually have stimulating properties. So they stimulate your hair at the scalp and they just make it grow so much more more stronger, less brittle, less dry. And that was definitely a big thing for me. I used to bleach my hair all the time, so it was pretty much dead. And this has really revived it. Now, alongside the shampoo and conditioner, I've also been taking the Unicorn Vegan Hair Vitamins. Now, this is something I also raved about on my Instagram. Inside these vitamins, it's got biotin, selenium, it's got vitamin A, B6, B12, C and E, and it's also got zinc. So all those combined are amazing things for your hair. These literally taste like actual sweets. And they're vegan so that's amazing. Sometimes I actually have to stop myself from eating the whole tub of sweets. That's how good they are. Another great product from the Hair Best range is this one. This is the Volume and Growth Elixir. This is in the same smell. So it's the avocado and coconut smell, again, for all hair types. What I like to do is I just like to spray it through my ends. I feel like it adds a lot of shine and volume. And then the last product I need to tell you guys about from the Hair Best range is their Lash and Brow Serum. Now, I feel like a lot of people look after their hair, but they never think to look after their brows and their lashes. And your lashes and brows definitely need all the moisture, if not more, because obviously, if you wear makeup and then you remove it, you're stripping your brows and your lashes of that natural moisture. So using something like this overnight just really helps. I've definitely found a big difference in my brows. I used to have quite sparse beginnings of my brows, but since using this, I've definitely seen some difference there, a bit more new growth. And then my lashes are also nowhere near as brittle as they used to be, and they don't fall out as often either. So this is definitely another product that I swear by. But yeah, I feel like now my secret is out. Also, thanks so much to Hairburst for sponsoring this portion of the video. I really appreciate it and I'm so glad I get to work with brands that I actually truly believe in. So now that all of those hair questions are answered, I hope you guys can enjoy these hairstyles and find them helpful. So without further ado, let's get on into the video. All right, so the very first hairstyle we're gonna be creating is this one right here. I like to call this the pretzel hairstyle because on the back of the head, it looks like a pretzel, but it's actually a heart shape made out of my hair, which I absolutely love. So to create this hairstyle, all you wanna do is you wanna take two sections of hair from either side of your face. You wanna make them fairly big, but not too big, sort of about the size that I've got right here. And then you wanna put them together at the back of your head and then tie them with a hair tie that matches your hair color. Once you've done that, you then wanna take another strand of hair underneath the first strand and you wanna twist it a little bit just to make it a bit more manageable and then weave it underneath the hair as you can see here. And then you wanna take that hair over the strand that we have tied and then back underneath itself. I don't really know the best 
best way to describe this, but I'm sure visually you guys can kind of see what I did there. Once you've done the one side, you then want to repeat the same thing to the other side. Now this can be a little bit messy. I'm sure you guys can do this a lot better than I have. I couldn't really see the back of my head very well, but then once you've done that, you then want to take both of the strands of hair and then secure them all together at the back of the head. And this is the finished hairstyle. Like I said, mine turned out a little bit messy, but I'm sure you guys can do this way neater than me. And I just love how this looks. I think it looks really interesting and it looks like I've put way more effort into my hair than I actually have. All right, now the next hairstyle we're creating is a faux fishtail bubble braid. I love these bubble braids because they're just so chunky and thick and they just look really interesting. This again is a very easy hairstyle, so let's get started. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna section off the top half of your hair. This time you wanna take the whole entire section of the top of your head. You then wanna just smooth it over with a hairbrush before you secure it into place. Once I've done that, I'm then going to take that chunk of hair out of the way. So I'm just going to kind of flip it over to the front of my face. And then we're going to section off another chunk of hair at the back of the head and again, secure that into place. Once that's nice and secured, I'm then going to take that ponytail that's at the top and I'm going to flip it back over to the back of the head and I'm going to actually separate it into two sections. You then want to take those two sections and actually secure them together underneath the second ponytail, as you guys can see I'm doing here. So once that's done, it should look something like this and then you basically just want to repeat the same step over and over again. So I've just created a new chunk of hair and I'm actually combining that second ponytail into it. I'm then flipping that top ponytail over again, securing it underneath, creating a new chunk of hair, and then basically just doing that same thing over and over again till we get to the nape of the neck. When all of the hair at the nape of the neck is secured, you then just wanna continue that same technique all the way down to the bottom of the braid. And then once you're finished, you can pull apart the little bubble sections to make them a little bit more volumized. And I just love how this looks. As I said, this is a really easy way to create a faux braid sort of effect if you're not very good at braiding, especially on your own hair. Now the next hairstyle is a very loose twin buns right at the bottom of the nape of the neck. I just love how relaxed this hairstyle looks, but it's really cute as well. So to create this hairstyle, what you wanna do is you wanna leave some strands of hair right by your face, just to kind of frame your face a little bit better. Mine are slightly too long for this hairstyle, but if you have slightly shorter front parts of your hair, then this will work perfect. You wanna make sure that your hair is in a middle parting for this as well, but it doesn't have to be parted very perfectly all the way to the back because you're not even gonna see the parting. Once I've briefly separated my hair into two, I'm gonna tie the first section and then the second section. Now to conceal my parting, I'm just gonna take some chunks of hair out of the middle of each ponytail and just kind of pull it into the center to really nicely get rid of that part. Once I've done that, I'm then gonna twist each ponytail into a very relaxed, messy bun. This doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, I think it looks way better when it's not perfect. It just gives that really nice and messy, relaxed and undone kind of vibe. Now the next hairstyle is a very Game of Thrones kind of inspired hairstyle. I absolutely love this and it's so super easy to recreate. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna take two chunks of hair right from either side of your face. You wanna tie them at the back, make sure the chunks are quite thick. Now what you wanna do is once it's secured, you wanna twist it on itself and it creates this kind of twist effect at the back. And once you've done that, you then wanna take another two chunks of hair slightly below the first one and do exactly the same. You wanna secure them at the back together and then flip them on itself. Once everything is secured and in place, you then just wanna pull apart the twists very slightly to kind of give them a little bit more volume. And this is the finished hairstyle. Like I said, very Game of Thronesy, but very easy to recreate. The next hairstyle is inspired by an Ariana Grande hairstyle that she has recently worn. This is where she's sporting her very iconic side parting and also instead of the one ponytail, she this time has two. So to recreate this hairstyle, the first thing you wanna do is grab a comb or anything thin and pointy that you can use to create your parting. So what I'm doing is I'm starting off with a middle parting, but then I'm creating a 
triangle almost out of the front part of my hair as you guys can see here and then you want to continue that middle parting all the way to the back of the head you want to try and get this as neat as possible if you need some help get someone to do this for you once you've done that you then want to take the fringe part and you want to secure that with a hair tie right in the middle out of the way and this is the finished hairstyle <laughs> I'm just kidding it's not the next thing I'm doing is I'm just securing the ponytail very randomly just so that it doesn't coincide into the other one now we can focus on one of the ponytails I'm just using my comb to raise all of the hair bit by bit and making sure there's no lumps in the hair. I'm then securing the ponytail at the top of my head with a hair tie and then doing exactly the same thing to the other side. Once you finish your hair should look something like this and we can now focus on the fringe part. So I'm letting loose of the fringe and I'm just going to use some of the hair burst serum and I'm going to spray that through just to make sure there's no frizz or anything like that. I have quite a lot of baby hairs as well so this will just help to tame it and then I'm just going to place it to the back of the ear and and then I'm gonna secure it with a hairpin. Once I've secured that fringe, I'm then gonna take a little strand of hair on either side of the ponytail, and I'm just gonna wrap that around the base of the ponytail to conceal the hair tie. I feel like this really finishes off the hairstyle, and this is the finished look. Now the next hairstyle is actually a transformation of the previous hairstyle of the two ponytails. I just love these space buns with the side fringe. I just think it looks so sassy and I love it. So once you have those two ponytails, what you want to do is take some serum or anything you have at hand and just kind of spray that through each of the ponytail and then start teasing or back combing it slightly. This is just to add the ponytail a little bit more volume and make the buns really big. I'm then doing the same thing to the other side and honestly my hair kind of looks like I've been fighting with a bear but just trust the process it's all gonna turn out good I'm then starting to twist the hair and I'm not twisting it too much because I still want to keep that volume and I'm just going round and round until I get to the base of the ponytail once you've formed the bun you want to just secure that with either hair ties or bobby pins whatever you prefer and then just pull some hair out by my ears to frame my face and these are the finished space buns Now the next hairstyle is this really elegant low bun. It looks like it might be hard to recreate, but trust me, it is so simple. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna secure your hair into a low ponytail with a thick hair band. You wanna make it a little bit thicker so that it actually stays there. I'm then using my teasing comb to just pull some sections higher and make my hair less flat and a little bit more lifted at the crown. The next step that I'm doing here is actually really important. So I've got my hair with my left hand and I'm taking it with my right hand in front of me and I'm kind of just looping it around the base of the bun. I'm then putting my index and thumb into the little loop I've created and then weaving the rest of the hair through that loop. Once I have done that, I'm then taking the remainder of the hair and just keep going around in the same clockwise motion and then I'm pinning everything into place. What you do with this bun next is really up to you. You can pin this in so many different ways and it will just create any shape that you like. But personally, I have pinned this into like this low loop and I just love the look of it. I think it looks so elegant and it was so easy to create. The next hairstyle is slightly more tricky. You do need to have some skill of braiding your own hair for this one, but with enough practice, you will nail this. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna start off with a middle parting. I'm taking a section of hair quite big at the front of my face on one side. I'm sectioning that off into three sections and then I'm braiding this with, I believe, a Dutch braid. It's where you actually go under instead of over and it just creates this three-dimensional braid at the top. So as I go, I'm adding chunks of hair to the braid and then once I get to the back of the head, I stop adding chunks of hair to my braid and I just kind of braid it all the way down and then secure it with a hair tie. So once I've done that to one side, you then want to just repeat that same thing to the other side. You want to keep braiding it until you get to the bottom and then secure it with a hair tie. And then you should be left with these really cute twin braids at the back of your head. I personally love this hairstyle because it looks so freaking cool from the back, but also it gets your hair nicely out of your face.
Now the next hairstyle is yet another transformation of the previous one. So this is what you can achieve just by combining the two braids together at the back of the head. So once you've completed the first hairstyle and you wanna take it a step further, what you can do is you can actually tie the two braids together like so. I'm then taking the remainder of the braids and I'm securing them together at the bottom below the tie as well. And this should create this almost circle effect of the braids. I just think this looks so interesting. When you first look at it, you can almost think how many hours did this take to create this hairstyle, but honestly, it didn't take that long at all. Now the very last hairstyle is a low twist. I love this hairstyle so much because it's kind of like the in-between. Is it a ponytail? Is it a braid? It's neither, it's a twist. So the first thing you wanna do is again, secure your hair into a low ponytail and secure it with quite a thick elastic band. The next step you wanna do is you wanna separate your hair into two and then you wanna start focusing on just one section. So I'm twisting this towards the back. Now the way you twist your hair is very important because if both strands are twisted the same way, this hairstyle will not not work. They have to be twisted in opposite directions from each other. Once I've twisted both, I'm then taking them into my hands and then I'm going to start twisting them on each other. As you're doing this, you want to make sure that the hair stays twisted quite tightly. This can be a little bit tricky, but if you have a mirror and you can see which way the hair is twisting already, then that will save you so much time. Now, as you can see, once you secure the hair with a hair tie, the hair does not untwist because the friction of the hair being twisted in the opposite directions just keeps it as a twist. Again, this hairstyle is so simple but so effective. Alright guys, so that is it for today's hairstyle video. I hope you guys enjoyed them. Let me know in the comments which one of these hairstyles was your favorite. I think my favorite might actually be this one. I just feel like this hairstyle is such a nice way to make space buns look a little bit more sassy with like the side fringe. I feel like all of the hairstyles were pretty simple to achieve and I feel like anyone could do it with just a little bit of practice. As I mentioned at the beginning, I have posted another hairstyle video recently showing you guys another 10 heatless hairstyles. So if you guys want to check them out and you want to learn how to do even more hairstyles, then make sure you guys check out that video but I guess that is all from me for this video thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one bye Mwah.